This year again, I'll be receiving the Platinum Award. That's one I really enjoy because I love telling stories to children. The IT Award it is actually uh, given by IDA. Even though I didn't formally go for any uh, uh, computer lessons. And I was lucky in the sense that I had a tenant here who was an IT guy and uh, he was patient enough to sit down and teach me when, whenever I needed uh, help and uh, in fact I would say he was actually my best teacher and so you know he would patiently teach me how to uh, create my uh, email ID, how to enter the various uh, email portals, how to search for information on Google then Internet uh, banking to the uh, main reason why I wanted to learn was I was always maybe the, the, I'm getting paranoid a bit. Um, what if I can't go out of the house to go and do my banking? I should be able to take care of my finances sitting at home. So the alternative is to be able to be able to do things on the uh, using your computer. So then I started learning how to get into the various banking portals, how to get the password from them and do transactions. So that then slowly it became like a, 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 a passion or a, 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 I don't know, I became more and more passionate about wanting to learn things. Then and fortunately I had this guy who was willing to teach. So our, he, uh, whenever I went travelling, and the camera like the photos, all upload, pander the, how to upload, pander the, and the how to the Picasso album like pour, pander the, and the how to you know change, pander the, pander the different angles like pander the, all that I did, I did. So slowly I picked up. <laughs> Council for Third Age is an organisation that looks after the welfare of uh, seniors. Something like the RSV, but they are an official body recognized by the or set up by Ministry of the Ministry of Community Development. Huh? And so they actually were doing this uh, awards for people who keep themselves active. And uh, the nominees, somebody has to nominate you. Either somebody who is working with you or somebody who is your family has. To to nominate, you cannot nominate yourself. There were 500 nominees. Out of the 500, they shortlisted 20. So the 20, we have to go for face-to-face -face, uh, interview. Then they pick the winners. So out of the 20 nominees, I was one of the picked as one of the seven winners in the year 2011. In fact, I got the award at that time mainly because of my lifestyle. Because they asked me how I keep myself healthy. So one of the things now the regular I am doing walking. the yoga classes I have actually learned all the yoga exercises. And the exercises I am doing, I make sure that I keep myself as healthy as possible. And also all the other activities which I would do, I was doing, Ella which compared they they thought I was a suitable uh, candidate for getting the award for the year 2011. So in that year, I got this Active Age Award, which carried a prize of five thousand dollars. They call us Ambassador of Active Aging. So they, in the that particular year, various activities So we have to go there as their representative. The beauty <laughs> beauty queens win the one year contract you know, kind of a contract with them that, that for one year whatever activities they have, if they invite you to represent the council, we have to go there to represent them.